Hey guys, so today I wanted to explain to you how to make your house stand out on a budget. Join me after this and I'll be right back. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about how to make your house stand out on a budget. We're going to show you how to create curb appeal. So, you know, if, just to make your house look nice, if you want to, if you're thinking of selling it, it will do better. But if you're not, it still makes it really nice. What a lovely feeling to come home to a nice house that's got curb appeal everyone can be jealous of you so let's start one way of doing it is to create some nice planting areas you know either side of the pathway see the pathway on this one leading up to the front door from the driveway you've got nice plants around some colorful tree um, you know colorful bushes all different types it gives you plenty of different texture and color um, so that really makes it stand out another way you can do it is to plant around doorways like like this one you've got some nice color at the on the lower level you've got some nice green you've even got a statue in there and a little lamp looks wonderful doesn't it and you can do it at you know on a fraction you don't have to go as big or a, as an ornate as these you can do something really simple you could even do it in the middle of your front yard you know you could create something like this where there's a ring of a big ring created with all plants in the middle so you've got plenty of splashes of color here uh, you've got the white, the pinks, the yellows, the purples. Looks wonderful. Really makes your front yard stand out. And another way you can do it is to paint that front door. So we all have a good brand new painted front door like this. Really makes it pop. Give it a nice wonderful color. And uh, it will stand out and make your house look great these ones have decorated it with a wreath on it as well as having pot plants around by the steps all comes in to you know really create that lovely curb appeal nice new door painted up you don't have to buy a new door you can just get the paint what's the gallon of paint gonna cost you to paint your front door all looks wonderful and it's you know quite easy to do if if you can if you can do it yourself it's wonderful another way you can improve the curb appeal of your house is to maybe jet wash your path and your um, driveway leading up to the house especially if you've got concrete path um, why not jet wash it get all that winter um, dark off all the dirt and stuff like that and you can clean it up it looks a treat it makes it look wonderful and you know it's easy to do it if you've got your own pressure washer it's real easy to do and it's quite fun sometimes as well I know you get wet but hey who doesn't like playing with water another way you can do it is to some window boxes so fairly cheap to make them or you can pick them up at garden centers some window boxes get some uh, you know shelf hangers some angles there so that you can hang your boxes on them and then put some you don't even have to fill them with earth you could just put some um, you know plants in still in their tubs into these uh, window boxes 
and look how it brightens up this house having those window boxes there splash of color we've got yellow siding we have nice red flowers there and the greenery from the leaves makes it look wonderful really shows it up so another way of improving the look of your front of house is doing the lawn so if you mow the lawn keep the grass short and do the edging it really makes a difference if you cut in that edging it looks wonderful you can even buy the plastic strips they're really cheap to put in once you've once you've cut the edge in you can slide these plastic strips in it will stop the grass from growing over into where your flower bed is but it really looks good even against the path um, you know you can cut your edges in it looks so much better once that's been done I do it all the time to my house and uh, it looks wonderful after I've done mowed the lawn and done the edging it looks really good obviously trimming your hedges that goes without saying you know if you've got hedges you can trim them up with a pair of shears or with these cutters and that really makes it stand out keeps it off of the house so you haven't got any shrubs or or hedges touching the actual side of the house because that will hold moisture just cut it back a little bit trim it up box it off on the top and it looks wonderful it does if you've got hedges of course so another way you can um you can spruce up your your house is with a new mailbox or even paint the old one so you know what mailboxes are like they're outside all the time and they get weathered and they get beaten up so why not you know give it a coat of paint or buy a new one a plastic one um, or the metal ones they spruce up the front of the house and make it look lovely and so it just makes it pop again get a nice bright color or a different design uh, there's so many designs out there for these mailboxes and um, you know you could fit that wouldn't cost an awful lot and it's a way of sprucing up the front of house after a miserable winter we can get that and it all looks nice it's like doing spring cleaning to your front of house obviously when you do all this stuff and you're making your house look nice you're gonna want to sit outside and take it all in so what better way to do that and to have some outside furniture so on your front porch there you can sit there you see there's a swinging uh, chair there a rocking chair um, on chains so you can swing backwards and forwards I've actually made one of these I know I know how to do woodwork and stuff like that I made one for my in-laws and uh, so they love it it's still going today and uh, so you can make them or you can buy them and they're not an awful lot of money so it is you know a great way to enhance the front of us there's also these um, uh, window shutters which are on this house and you know obviously if they're architecturally uh, fit in for the house if you've got room for them um, they do look nice they can be painted a different color so they stand out and uh, they look really good obviously you don't have to go really expensive on furniture for the porch you could even go with uh, something like this which is a couple of metal chairs and a table you know it's a nice place you can sit out have a drink in the evening watch the world go by and enjoy that front yard that you've just created with all your new plants and 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 your mailbox and stuff like that why not sit in front on your on your porch and watch the world go by of course if you're gonna sit outside this time of year or into the summer you might want to be sitting out there in the evening so what better way to really enhance the feeling 
of sitting outside in the evening than to enjoy it with lights. So you can illuminate your garden, you can illuminate your front yard, creates curb build 24-7 then. You know, right through the evening, you can have nice lights out there, you can sit out there and enjoy it. You can still enjoy your garden, even after it's gone dark. Well, those are a few ways we can really enhance your front yard and create that curb appeal for everyone. And so, um, obviously, there's plenty of things to get on with before you do all the curb appeal. You want to make sure that you've gone around the house and maybe fixed any of those small repairs that you didn't get to and because it's been winter you know you want to check out those screens make sure you've got no holes in them you know if you, if you've got any screens that are torn up maybe repair them and put those in but that's all maintenance you know checking if there's any peeling paint because after a harsh winter that can happen why not you know go around check it out maybe you need to paint your uh, window sills and things like that maybe you don't and uh, then you can get on to creating that curb appeal knowing that everything else is fixed on your house well maybe next time I'll make part two of this video for the backyard and see what we get up to out there bye for now you got value from this content don't forget to like the video. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.